name is Richard Pellardy. I'm a research editor for Encyclopedia Britannica. I recently spoke to Jamila Bay via Google Hangout. Miss Bay is the host of the radio show Sex, Politics, and Religion on Voice of Russia America. She is also an increasingly prominent voice in the secular humanist movement. Here is a portion of our conversation. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I think one of the more striking elements I thought in one of your talks um, was uh, how you were talking about uh, the need for a narrative um, in people's lives and that um, that's one of the big draws of religion and a lot of people who leave religious communities find that to be something that's missing in their lives. Um, and now you're a, a journalist, you're a radio host. Um, do you think there's anything special about the oral narrative, uh, the spoken word, as opposed to, say, the written word mm -hmm. and explaining that to people and reaching people? Absolutely. Um, we have been told that the world's oldest profession is something that women of the night do. And that is not the case at all. The oldest profession is the journalist, the storyteller, the one who said, let me tell you what happened to me today. First, there was this thing and I ran and the rock fell. And, I, you know, um, the, the oral tradition is how we human species evolved. Um, our brains got bigger. Our mouths got all super to let us sing and, and do other things. Um, not to turn this into my science wonkiness here, but um, the way we learn, the way we interact, the way we connect to people is through speech, is through our songs, is through our greetings and when you come from a tradition um, that tells you there was this little baby in a manger and he was a great person and he did these wonderful things and you should try and be like that. Your life is supposed to follow similar trajectory as his. He did these great things. Or if you're told our people believe that you came from this star. You are descended from the stories that are written in the night sky. And your life should be held and led in order in this way. It kind of gives you something cool to aspire to, to attain, to, to seek. For those of us who go, okay, we want to live a life filled with reason. We want to live a life filled with fact we get even more awesome stories to tell, but we sometimes are bad at telling them. For example, um, there was somebody who tried to figure out, well, why does a thing do that? Well, why shouldn't it do this thing? I would like to talk to somebody who's not even here. Who thinks that way? Well, you're Alexander Graham Bell. You know, you go, well, why can't I talk to somebody who's not even here? You know, right. if you're if you're um, if you're Garrett Morgan and you go, there should be a way to stop people from crashing into each other in vehicles. Maybe we should all just agree on rules when we look toward the sky and see something. Wonder and excitement and solving problems is the path that I take. I want to leave this planet a little bit better than I got that I got it given to me. And so I try and tell stories that help to illustrate that. Unfortunately, our, our culture um, around the world too, but our culture here in America, we think, oh, mad scientists. Look at the scientists on television. They're mess dealers. <laughs> They're um, socially inept weirdos. And that's just not the case. Every human being, every child starts out his life as a scientist. What happens if I do this? Well, can it, does it work if I do it over there? Let's, let's jump in the pool and see if it works. Um, figuring out what you want to do 
is the narrative that your life will find meaning inside of. And, and I want to tell more stories like that.